A R E Oxford Reading Tree, Vanishing Queen, Level Five. Let's start. The children were at school. They made a little theater. They made it out of a box. The children put on a play. The play was about a wizard. He he was called Wizard Blot. Wizard Blot made made mistakes. Wizard Blot made a spell. The spell went wrong. Oh dear! Oh dear! That was a lot. Everyone laughed. Everyone liked the play. Miss May liked Wizard Blot. Biff was in her room. The key began to glow. Chip, chip! Called Biff. Chip ran into Biff's bedroom. The magic took them inside the little house. Teeny tiny. The magic took them to Wizard Blot's house. The wizard wanted some help. Come in," said the wizard. "I wanted one helper, but two will do." Come in," said the wizard. "You can wash up, then you can tidy up. So many cats." Biff and Chip looked at the mess. Don't be lazy," said the wizard, "or I will turn you into frogs." Biff and Chip did the washing up. "I don't like this," said Chip, "but I don't want to be frogs." "I don't like ironing," said Biff, "but we don't want to be frogs." Oh no! Biff dropped a bottle. It was vanishing cream. Help! said Biff. This is vanishing cream. Chip looked at his hand. Oh no! He said. Bits of us are vanishing. He rubbed his face. Oh no! said Biff. Your face is vanishing. A man came to the house. He climbed. Through the window, the man didn't see Biff and Chip. He took all the wizard's computer dis diskets. Help! Help! Said the man. I'm being attacked by the washing. Wizard Bob came back. Biff told him about the vanishing cream. Chip gave Wizard Bob the computer disket. The wizard was pleased. It was time to go home. Thank you," said Wizard Blot. "Do come again." Biff had a little bottle. "Don't drop it," said Chip. "It's vanishing cream." The end. I hope you like it. Bye. Thank you.